What is going on boys? Welcome back to the channel and we have got a brand new video today. We are starting off a new career mode. It's going to be like an episodely career mode. We're going to have loads of fun and it is going to be with my beloved Queen's Park Rangers. So I'm repping the uh, old school shirt as well. We're going to have a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get into it and see what we can do with the squad. I'd like to just shout out EA as well for their really touching tribute and that is putting Kyan Prince in the game and uh, yeah that's a, a really lovely tribute by uh, EA to do that so thank you very much and he will be in our starting lineup for the first season. What I'm going to do is have a little play around with the team formation and stuff and I'll get back to you once I've decided what is best for us going forwards. So then boys, this is going to be our team going into the new season. We like to play attacking, we're going to go 3-4-1-2. We've got Dieng in goal, best keeper in the league. We've got Rob Dickey, our goal scoring centre back. If you haven't seen a video of him, then I'll uh, show you very quickly. We have the Man Mountain, Jordi Device, and we have Johan Barbe, captain as well. We've got Johansson and Amos in midfield. Adoma's going to start out on the right. Chrissy Willock going to start out on the left. We have our second Moroccan magician, after a Delta Rat, obviously, in Ilias Chair. What a great upcoming talent he is. We've got Kyan Prince and Charlie Austin as well. On the bench, we've got likes of Lyndon Dykes. We've got Sanfield, Don Ball. We've got Joe Lumley in gold as well. So we've got a decent bench as well. I'm going to try and make a couple of signings. I feel like we need to strengthen the right midfield position and possibly the centre midfield as well. So let's go and see what we can do in the transfer market. But for now, this is the team going into the new season. Looking at our objectives this year, it is absolutely critical that we sign one crucial player and we make a profit of 18 million. And within two seasons, we have to increase the club worth by 50%. So that could be quite a difficult one, but hopefully we can do that first time round. We've also got to sign one player to the Youth Academy and sign at least three players younger than 20 years old. And we're also looking at getting 10 away wins this season. Onto the budget as well, we've got 3.2 million to spend and 37K for wages. So it's not a massive budget, I have to say. We're going to have to do miracles if we want to bring in anyone that's going to strengthen the team. Getting some pre-season training done as well to make sure the boys are in best shape they can be come the start of the season. First bit of business for us has seen Charlie Kelman and he is off to LA Galaxy on a two-year loan. We've also got Arthur Burt, our youth prospect player, and he is off to Watford for a two-year loan. So he could come really good over the next couple of seasons. There we go, boys. Our first sign-in, Romain Sawyers. He's joining the club. We've got him for two and a half million, so I think that's a fairly good deal for him. 28 years old, 72 rated, plenty of championship experience. So, yeah, a great signing for the club. We've just made our first sale of the window, and that is Lee Wallace. He's gone off to Orlando City for 670,000. 32 years old. We're playing a three at the back formation, so doesn't fit into the plans. I'm very sorry, Lee, but he's joined Orlando. First game of the season, boys. We're at home to Barnsley. The team is the same, apart from we've put Sawyers in for Amos. So let's have a little sim and see how we did. And it is a... a 3-1 loss. Jesus. At least Kai and Prince scored, eh? Yeah, so 3-1 loss in the first game at home to Barzi. Not a great start, but we've still got plenty of business to do. And I've just seen that Charlie Austin got a naughty red card as well. So not a great start to the season, but we'll see what we can do in the rest of the transfer window. Ozzy Kakai is off to New York City FC, and that is for 1.49 million. So uh, look after him, lads. You've got a good in there. Amalainen has also been sold, and he is off to Philadelphia, and that is for 1.85 million. So we're starting to bring in the funds now. Second game of the season then, and we are away at Derby County. We're going to sim this one as well. I think I'll only play like really important matches and derbies. So not Derby County, but actual like London derbies. 
So let's go ahead and quick sim this game. Hopefully we can bag some points. And we have lost 2-1. Uh, Dykesy getting himself on the score sheet. Uh, that is two games and two losses for the R's so far. Another wing back out the door and that is Todd Kane. He is off for 1.6 million. Away to Brentford in the cup now. I know I said I'd play derbies, but you know what? Get the cup run this year. We just concentrate on the league and see what we can do there. So we're going to quick sim this. Probably come away with about a 3-0 loss. Uh, we lost 4-3 on penalties. So the pressure is really building on us to start getting some results in. But I'm not fussed about the cup. Let's go fully for the league this year. We have just made our second signing of the window and it is Yunus Musa. He came over from Valencia, 67 rated at 17 years old. We got him for 3 million. He's only one rating below Adoma and we needed a right midfielder like so badly. And the sky is the limit for this boy. So if he has a couple of good performances, gets a crowd behind him, I reckon this kid could go far. Had a look through the free agency. We've got no real budget left. But we're going to pick up some players and that will cover the different positions. So we're going to get a backup goalkeeper. We're going to provide some cover for Chris Willock in the left midfield position. And we're also going to get a couple of centre midfielders. So building our squad depth nicely now. Okay boys, I lost some of my footage of the last couple of games. But as you can see, we are four games in. We have picked up no points. So it is an absolutely dreadful start to the season. Here we have it then, our proper first derby of the season. We're going to go ahead and play it. It's away at Millwall. Let's go and see if we can pick up our first points of the season. Here we go then, boys. London derby. Great save, Senny. He plays it through to Dykes. And Prince finish. Get in there. 1-0 to the boys. Let's have a look at this replay then. First time volley. Bottom corner. Nice goal. Oh my days. What kind of defending is that? How was that not a booking? Well, we have a penalty, boys. Come on. Let's slot this on. Alexi's taking the pen. We're going to go just to the keeper's left. Kidding me. There we have it boys, final whistle, we've lost 2-1, that is 5 games, 5 losses now, don't know what to say, it's been a bad start to the season. Next game, home to Stoke, another defeat, I'm bored of this now, let's just get on and go to the next game. So that is the end of the transfer window boys. It is a window that has seen us sell 5.6 million worth of players and bring 5.5 million worth of players in. So we're about breaking even. Um, it's been an awful start. Maybe three at the back is not the way to go in future, but we're going to have to stick with it until January. This is how the squad is looking. So we've got our 3 4 1 2. We've brought in Musa and Sawyers, and we've also strengthened the bench, or what I thought was strengthening the bench with a few of our free agents i'm going to leave that video here so let's go ahead and look at the calendar and see what we've got coming up next and this is how the next month is looking so hopefully we can get a few green w's on there rather than a load of red l's so if you have liked it if you have enjoyed it please drop a like and subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it and join me on this journey with qpr i'm sure we're going to have our ups and downs but hopefully we can come through strong at the end of the season. And if you do have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below. If you want to see any players signed as well, I'd be uh, greatly appreciated if you could drop them down below as well and we could see what we can do together in the January transfer window. So I will see you in the next episode.